Hi guys, I'm Boss here, and today I'm going to be playing Burning House Challenge with Darth Man 06. What's up, guys? Yep, that's Darth Man 06 in the background. And so today we're going to be playing Burning House. Here's the rules. That's number the one, no breaking wall. Number two, not leave the house. Number three, have fun. And go check out his YouTube channel. Shout out to him. I'm um, Jeff Man 06. Yeah, very clever. And this is our part two. Yep, this is our part two. I go check out the part one before you watch this because I'm just recommending that. So I'm gonna song me again like I did in the last video. Yep. And I'm going to go again. Are you ready? Um, yeah, I'm just organizing this stuff so I can get to it quicker. Wait, just a minute, just a minute, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Push the lever this time, I did it. Last yeah. Time. And let's go. Hmm, I know where I should go. I'm going in this corner. On the table, maybe. You can never push me to go up. I'm going to choose the other room. Actually, I'm going to go up. Let's go upstairs. Go upstairs. Yeah, the love is already coming. Risky move. Risky, risky move. I'm on the bottom screen. I'm on the top. Mm -hmm. And he's up there. Hi. I'm gonna check on the oh god. That's a lot of fire. Man, I bet that's down here. Yep, it is. <laughs> it's a uh, soft downstairs yet? Yep. Wow, it hasn't even touched my room yet. It hasn't really touched my room yet either. Oh, it has. Yep, same with me. <coughs> so, is it even possible to get over my room? Nope. I'm burning, I'm burning. Oh, there goes my SP, so. Uh, wow. There was no point. Nope. I, I need a chance to, to, uh, wait. You can jump down. I can. Okay. Oh, you're in here? Yes. And uh, that's it for this video. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember to subscribe. Peace out. Hi guys, Epic Boss here. And today I'm going to be playing the Burning House Challenge with... Darth Man 06, say hi. Hi. And so, so how you play this is you get uh, armor from armor 14 more beyond. Yep. And then you go in a house, 
there's lava in it and it's going through the walls and you try to be the last one alive. Yeah. And we also get a uh, knockback blaze rods to knock the other person into the lava and we also get ocean swiftness to get out of the lava. Yeah. And the rules are no breaking blocks. Um, you're not allowed to leave the house. Have fun. And please go check out my YouTube channel. It's Darthman06. It's a very clever name. It's not the exact so same as my username. Nope, nowhere near all of your usernames. Nope. So uh, I'll get my armor on and then we'll head into the house. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready for this. Let's go. Okay, do you want to pull the lever? Sure. And all the lock comes out. And now we go down. Or I go down. Wait, yeah, is this safe can... in the bathroom? I don't think it is gonna be safe. No, it's not. Yeah, I'm going in here. Gotta get to the corner. Okay, good. I think this corner is the safest spot because the lava co starts coming down on that side. So this spot has the least amount of lava, like over a period, you know, or something. It takes a while for lava to get here. <sighs> yeah, so lava is coming down on this side of his room, yeah. and it will be coming down on the side of my room. And so I need to stay over here. Yeah, I'm just going to show you guys how much lava there is. Quite a bit. Yeah. So yeah, this is the least safest room. Yeah. Like, it seems like it has two rooms, so it will be good, but actually it's not safe. It's not good at all. Okay. Is this your room? Yeah, this is the room I'm in. Okay. Um, there's nothing in this chest, these chests. I didn't bother putting anything in the chest when I built it. Burn. Burn. Oh, no. Burn. oh, your room's on fire. Yeah. Why? You're not going to get out of the hot room. Uh, how long does this last? A minute, 30 seconds. Why'd you drink it? I can't even get out of my room. Okay, I'm in even more danger. Yeah, me too. I don't have, there isn't any drippage in my room. And you're dying. This is the safest spot. But you died. I guess it's not safe. Not really. So uh, that's the end of this video. Um, I will do a part two for our next round. So uh, yeah, I, that's it for this video. Uh, bye. Hey guys, Epic Boss here, and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Today, I've got a combo for you. 
that is the most OP combo in the world. Hog Rider and Prince. So, let's get right into the video. So for our first attack, we've got a opponent named Couchfit from Flaming Wizards. Whatever. So let's just wait till we can get the prince. Arrow these because I don't really know how to how to defend them. So now Hog Rider and Prince. Look at that. Look at them go. Wow. And they get a tiny bit of damage off another tower. That's just amazing, guys. That is just amazing. So we'll just use the combo again. I can probably get the King Tower. Knowing this combo. Use Spear Gobs to help out. Oh, he distracted me. Or my troops, but... I don't know. I can still win this. Because of the OP combo. Hog Rider Prince again. Such an OP combo. Like, I can't even believe it. I watch that. And there. Hashtag Prince and Hog Rider for the win. So yeah guys, uh, thanks for watching, that's basically the end of the video, uh, if you're the channel, remember to hit that subscribe button if you like my channel, and peace out. guys, Epic Boss here and welcome back to yet another video. Today, I'm going to be telling you five Easter eggs hidden in Apple products like iPhones. So, in the number five spot, we have the book emoji icon. Well, or the book emoji. See, what's cool about this is on the book emoji, you would think it's just like scribbles and wiggles and stuff on for the words in the book, but it's actually, if you're paying attention, you look really closely, it's actually Apple's old Think Different campaign. So yeah. Um, and in our number four spot, um, we have the Easter egg that Siri tells a really good story. If you know Siri, it's like a virtual assistant that is virtually, that is a virtual voice that is made by Apple. Um, Siri tells a good story. She tells like a fake story of like how she got, how she started working for Apple. It's like a fake story though. And it's actually like a pretty good story. So if you ask Siri to tell a story, she'll tell you that. In number three spot, the maps icon. 
on for like the Maps app. Um, it's actually like Apple's like home office, like like zoomed in like really far on Maps for where like the exact spot where like Apple's home office is. And now in number sp two spot, um, Steve Jobs glasses is shown in a glasses icon when you go to add a website to your reading list the icon there is actually Steve Steve Jobs glasses and so yeah so um, actually now in number one spot we have for the um, like voice memos icon like the voice memos where you like just talk and like it plays your voice over and over um the icon is actually like picture if someone would say apple on that app so yeah so uh that's pretty much it for these easter eggs um Tell me if you liked it in the comments, and remember to leave a like if you liked the video. If you're new to my channel, remember to subscribe. And if you have any more Easter eggs that I missed, then please tell me in the comments, and I will definitely listen to you. And so, thank you so much for watching, guys. And that'll be the end of this video. Bye. Hey guys, Boss here, and... Welcome back to my behind the scenes of my Apple Easter Eggs video. So I have a couple questions to answer that I got in the comments. Well, and so yeah, for one, someone asked, what was I watching in the background? That was actually the Apple Sem September 2016 live broadcast of the new products they're announcing in September of 2016. And also, this is not copyright, this is like my own. I kind of learned some, some of them from, from some people and I kind of learned some of them on my own. But anyway, so yeah, that's basically it for the behind the scenes video. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Epic Boss here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you an attack strategy. And this attack strategy is the drag home, which, is, which consists of eight dragons and eight hogs, but this may vary depending on how many army space you want. And you could also customize the amount of troops to how to however much you want. And today I'm going to be doing a live attack for you in a multiplayer battle. And when you do this attack, you also bring three lightning spells to take out an air defense for the dragons. If you're a town hall eight or higher, then you can bring also an earthquake, an earthquake spell to help take out air defense. And the hogs are to uh, help take out the air defense. So this looks like a good base. So I'm going to lightning this air defense. Then I'm going to send hogs and my king towards these air defenses. And there, now I just send dragons all right here and they will go forward and hopefully take a battle out of them.
Well, I got a spare, but at the beginning of the battle, my troop placement wasn't very good, so the dragons didn't end up going through the air defense. But I actually got a star, so that was pretty good. And I also got an achievement, which I think was more than one, so that's also pretty good. I might get two stars, but it's highly unlikely. Because I don't know. Yeah, this story is going to survive. Well, also, guys, um, I guess that's it for this video. Um, I guess I'll see you soon. here and welcome back to another video today I'm going to be asking you a small question I'd like to tell you to tell me in the comments which intro you prefer out of my three intros so this is on intro designer light which is an app on the top left corner that is the app I use to make my intros and go ahead and download it if you like so, uh, let's start with my first intro. The template is Mac and Cheese Day. So, let's go and play it. So, so that's your first choice. And this one is your second choice. I don't really like the jazzy type music to it, but I kind of like the intro. And so that's your second choice. And here is your third choice, which is my intro that I used to use. So yeah guys, tell me in the comments which of these intros you would like to use. Like, I really don't care, I like them all, so it doesn't really matter to me. Just tell me in the comments which one you prefer. So, uh, one, two, or three. Well, number one, two, or three. Uh, top one is number one, middle one is number two, and bottom one is number three. So just tell me in the comments, and I'll make it kind of like a vote. Okay, so that's it for this video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and especially comment on this video. And I will see you next time.